Right, so we're in early November. Temperatures are starting to drop. Um, pretty cool by day now. Not quite hit any frosts yet, but uh, they're probably not far off. And I uh, had a few last uh, minute things I had to protect, as it were. Um, I had my Syafia Cooper Eye, the fast grown, growing tree fern, which I'm literally just going to put in the unheated greenhouse just to overwinter that, keep it on the dry side. And I also had my uh, Livingstoner chinensis, which is in a pot. And there's actually four plants in there. And uh, previous years I've overwintered this in my summer house. So it sort of kept frost free. But um, unfortunately, there's no room in there this year. It is absolutely stacked out. So, and the, the greenhouse is stacked out. I've got no room in the house for it. Um, the conservatory would have been a, a nice option, but that's pretty stacked out as well. I need to keep an area clear in there. So, the last resort for overwintering this Livingstone of Chinensis, they are fairly tough palms. Um, they can take the cold. So I built this uh, shelter, if you hadn't watched my other videos on palm, protecting sort of half hardy tender palms or new palms that are not acclimatised to the, the right cold conditions. So we've basically just got a frame here with a, a, a clear plastic and a clear corrugated top. So the idea is just to keep the, the the rain and frosts off and the worst of the wind and with a lot of the perennials dying down in this sort of raised area where the the bootier odorata is I had a big gap there so I plonked the uh, Livingstone chinensis in the pot there so that's going to be kept dry and it's going to see the cold temperatures, but it shouldn't get too much frost on the leaves. I mean, there are a couple that are sort of hanging out, but they are older fronds anyway, so I'm not too concerned. That'd be a good little test because what I'm planning to do with this next year is actually get it in the ground in a sheltered position and probably do a similar thing to this, put a frame over it over winter just to stop the leaves dying off because they take a long time to regrow especially in a, a UK climate, so if you can keep the leaves then that's obviously you don't want a, a bare trunk for with a spear sticking out for half a year so we, we'll try and keep the leaves as much as we can so if this winter's okay in the position it's in, like I say, it's sort of sheltered from the worst of the winds and that, that will heat up to a, a small degree when the sun's out but it is open as well, so there's plenty of airflow, and it's just going to stop the, the wind and the rain and worst of the frost, like I say. Um, yeah, so it's in a pot. Um, I haven't ruled out if we get a really cool night, maybe bubble wrap in the pot or fleecing it or something, just to just to protect the roots a bit. But now we'll see how the winter goes. You never know. I mean, we we did have frosts last year, but we didn't have anything below minus two, so that won't really concern this palm too much but yeah you never know what winter may bring so we'll uh, apply it by ear and protect as necessary but as it is that's is the the last sort of thing in the garden which I needed to find a place for and uh, yeah needs must and that's that's where it's gonna sit over winter um, another option maybe is to get some a bit of fleece this size and just maybe staple it along the top and maybe just tie it up on the mild days and then if it, we do get a really frosty night I could just unroll it and weigh it down at the bottom with a couple of stones or something that, that could be an option so I'm always thinking about you know worst case scenario I mean you, yeah, you have to prepare for the worst and sort of hope for the best but um yeah, I mean, I don't like to go, I'm not one of these types that will run outside every time we get a frost and wrap things up, but that seems like a lot of trouble for me. So I'd rather just get everything done 
you know, fairly early before the frost come in and protect and then sort of forget about it. But there are a couple of plants I will be keeping an eye on, but I'm not gonna be too uh, fussy about it. Um, this should pull through okay, this Livingstone chinensis. So yeah, that is the pretty much the last thing on my list to do. Um, other than that, everything else is going to be totally unprotected. So we'll see what the winter brings. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.